Lucas Media. So this is a lot I'm going to talk about with Shakur Stevenson, a lot to break down. As we all know, he had a fight over the weekend where he won a unanimous unanimous decision versus Artham. Um, judge, one judge scored at 118-111, one judge scored at 119-109, third judge scored at 117-111, all in favor of Shakur. Problem what you saw was people was leaving the fight. A lot of people say that Shakur has been a snooze fest. His last two fights have been off. And, you know, he talks a lot, honestly. And you would think that Shakur is one of them guys as far as the power to the casual fan right so let's just start out like i said fans is leaving uh the later round i think it was 11 round 11 12 round mason cameron mason cameron man they, check them guys out man for real but they had a video of them falling asleep trying to watch the fight then shakur got mad and he went after mason cameron basically threatening them that's how i took it you know so then they responded back with a hilarious uh rebuttal telling Shakur that you know you gotta you gotta step it up you know what I'm saying would nobody say anything if you just had better fights now there was rumors that Shakur might have been hurt I just seen a interview with um Cigar Talk with Najee with Cigar Talk uh, shout out shout out to him as well shout out to that brother as well and you know he talked about the fight and just basically said you know he's gonna have haters I'm paraphrasing but he's gonna have haters no matter what people are judging him uh, based off his performance but he said that that's because people are comparing him to tank davis and that tank is gifted with those type of fights as far i mean natural power versus shakur is more of a skill fighter now i mean he's well on oh he also did say he might sign with uh not floyd he don't know who he's gonna sign with but he was big enough floyd and eddie hearn that's the rumor floyd clearly wants him him and richard schaefer and eddie hearn with matchroom but he did say eddie hearn was the best one of the best promoters out there he also felt like tim bradley was hating on him because espn the top brain told him to and he feels like espn um was hating on him because this was his last contract now let me just start out uh, from the beginning Shakur, you can't get mad because Mason Cameron are making making light of your fight. Now, what you have to understand is we pay y'all bills, man. A lot of these fighters, I don't know why, but somebody has inflated their head like we don't pay the bills. The fans, we're the ones who pay your bills. So if we feel like the work that you're giving is not up to par of what we want to see, we have a right for that. And, you know, these guys, a lot of, and I'm not just talking about Shakur. A lot of these guys, they so sensitive to where you can make a thousand videos praising them. But the moment that you criticize one, it's like World War Three. You know, then you out there trying to threaten Mason Cameron. Come on, man. I'm talking about they not, they not legends, and you threw up Gillian Wallow. And come on, man. So now you trying to, you trying to sneak this, sneak start another beef, and you don't know Mason Cameron are legends. Come on, man. Diplomats, Mace. You know how many albums Mace sold out the gate back in the nineties? Mace pretty much carried Bad Boy after after Biggie unfortunately passed away. Then what he was talking about as far as people leaving, he's saying that I seen him put on Twitter or X. He feels like ESPN paid people to leave, which in theory, in theory, could be true, but it wasn't because the crowd was booing. And it's because, you know, Shakur, see, Shakur, when Devin Haney was undisputed, Shakur was chasing him around. Devin Haney offering 25%, Shakur shuts it down, right? Sign the contract, sign the contract, man. Devin beats Loma. You talking about some, oh, Devin got, uh, Loma got robbed, Loma got robbed. He easily beat Devin. Uh, you know, I can beat this fighter. So then when you talking greasy, people want to see you back it up. And they don't want to see the sweet science, man. We're not talking about the casual. I mean, we're not talking about the diehard fans. We're talking about casuals who literally only know you, Devin Haney, and Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. They don't know no other fighters. They can't name you three heavyweights right now. They don't even know the difference between the WBA belt and the WBC belt. They just see colors. And as far as having haters, man, like I said, the fans, the fans are always going to criticize you especially when you have back-to-back -back snoozers now you can argue floyd floyd was a boring fighter i'm talking about money mayweather not pretty boy floyd's whole image the second half of his career was you can't beat me it wasn't about him being boring you know and even even when he was quote unquote a boring fighter he was literally shutting fighters out just go back and watch him and canelo you know shakur your, your last two fights you know you've been off and that's okay it's, it look it seems like your power doesn't translate from 130 to 135 because i he said with Aji cigar talk that he don't see himself going up to 140 no time soon he's really a 135 fighter and you know only you know only if the money right the fight right but he gonna stay at 135 i 
we got to see your power translate. And a lot of people can't do that. Teofimo Lopez as well. Have y'all noticed that with him? I don't know if he can translate the 140s and the 147s. And even like with Shakur being a free agent, um, he was allegedly offered $3 million per fight, and he feels like his worth is more. Look, I don't have a I don't have a problem with a fighter getting as much as he wants. I think a lot of these fighters will be better off if they get more of an independent co-venture deal. The thing with Shakur is you could have just took you could have took the 25 percent. You could have you could have beat Devin Haney. There's a good chance you could have beat Devin Haney. You never know. Shock the world. And now you can demand 10, 15 million dollars a fight. But top rank in ESPN feel like your value is around three million but when you have see it's like a it's like a, a basketball player football player in a contract year if you knew that these were your last two fights and you go out there and you put people to sleep literally and figuratively you're not going to get the same bag on the re-up yes it was a sweet science yes i'm a fan of it but we're talking about the casuals the ones who are going to show up once every you know twice twice a year oh man tank and shakur never fight man let's order the fight other than that, they're not purchasing nothing. Those are the ones who move the needle and those are the ones where you gotta put on a, a performance. So Bob and Tom Brady, them, they saw that. So now they're gonna try to lowball you. But that's the that's the thing. Same thing with basketball. You know, a lot of them times they turn on extensions and then, you know, Dennis Schroeder and other people, and then the 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 check be a whole lot lighter coming around. So I don't know. I mean, hey, I'm gonna support Shakur if you wanna go independent or with another promoter, maybe that's what you need. But even with Floyd, I, I honestly, I would suggest that because who are you going to get? Is Tank going to fight you? Uh, is Devin Haney going to fight you with Floyd? You got to think, they got their own problems with Floyd. And again, will Floyd sign you and keep you under him? He over there promoting girl collections and he don't want to, you know, you don't want to sign with Floyd, man. Floyd is not, his work has shown that he has not been a successful promoter. You could say Tank Davis, but we all know that was Leonard LRB and Al Heyman and Floyd was just the face of it. I'm being honest. You know, some of y'all think I'd be hating on Floyd, think he's one of the greatest fighters in the ring, outside the ring. You know, he'd be clowning, but you need to go with, if you're going to go with somebody, go with Eddie Hearn, man. At least you know. Look at look how hard he's promoting, um, what's his name? Uh, my guy from Philly. Jerron Boots Ennis. I'm tripping. Jerron Boots Ennis. You can easily get the same kind of promotion as Ron Boots Ennis. And you got Eddie Hearn, who got not only the American platform now, but the European platform, who is partnered up with Turk al Sheik, so you can fly to Saudi Arabia and, and really get that world view, you know, those eyes on you. But, you know, we have to wait and see. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's next for Shakur. He did say he wanted to unify, not necessarily fighting Tank. Tank and Loma was supposed to be in the go chase, but Loma said he would step aside for Tank and Shakur. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But y'all know how boxing is. 90% business, 10% the actual fight. But I just want to give my quick thoughts. Like I said, it's been a lot, a lot of talk about Shakur, but not in a good way. And again, Shakur, you got to understand, man, the fans are the ones who pay your bills. And instead of you being on X and Instagram arguing with people, man, ain't you, aren't you a millionaire? I wouldn't even be worried. About, if I'm making $2 million a fight, right? And I don't have to work and go clock in a cubicle and drive to a, a job that I hate. Why am I on there arguing with people? Y'all know in a couple of weeks, the, the news moves on anyway. You know, just go to an island, you know, go down to the Bahamas or something, go get you, go get on some boats and, and be chilling. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.